Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of an experiment here. Um, I have two Zippos here, standard Zippo and we have a um, you know, replica Zippo here and <laughs> some Tic Tacs and a little container. So what's the deal? What's going on here? So I did a video that was Zippo related. I think it was the uh, the new um, Soft Flame Butane Zippo insert video. And one of the comments was that a Zippo fits perfectly into a Tic Tac container. So I don't know why, but the first thing I thought of when someone said that, and I assumed was that the insert on a Zippo would fit inside of a Tic Tac container. So you can use that like for the body, you know, and then obviously light it. I don't know why that's what popped in my head, but um, it stuck with me. It really stuck with me. And uh, and then as I was thinking about it, I realized that they were probably talking about the entire Zippo fitting inside of it. Uh, and the, the idea behind that, I suppose, would be to not lose fuel. Because in that video, you know, being a butane insert, I said one of the huge advantages over a traditional Zippo insert is that it won't lose fuel over time. Right, because the regular Zippo slowly loses its fuel and eventually dries up. In fact, this one is in fact dried up for that reason. All right, I had this filled probably two months ago or so, and only use it a handful of times, but it's dry because it just slowly leaks out. It's not airtight, right? So anyway, this this kind of comment just lingered in the back of my mind. And the last time I was at the store, I bought some Tic Tacs, and uh, no regrets. Tic Tacs are still awesome. They do definitely freshen your breath. Uh, not the orange ones, which are my favorite, which is basically just candy. Those are delicious, but they do nothing for your breath. Um, so if you have horrible breath, then you just have horrible breath, maybe with a hint of orange. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> but these uh, regular um, you know, mint ones are, are awesome. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to pop these out. So I have the container. And we're going to see if this works. I already kind of cut this. All right, so we can lift this off and see if it fits. First we'll try a regular standard Zippo and it does seem to fit. Does this go on here? Ooh, look at that. It actually fits pretty darn snug. It's funny because like if you look at a regular Zippo uh, and because I don't regularly buy Tic Tacs. I mean I do enjoy gum and different mints randomly here and there but it's not like I'm a consistent Tic Tac purchaser. So if you show me this and you're like, oh, a Zippo would fit in a Tic Tac container, I'd be like, no way. Because from memory, a Tic Tac container was not actually this big. For some reason, I thought it was a little bit smaller. But look at that. A regular standard Zippo. It fits pretty darn well. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do a little experiment now that I know this thing fits in here. And by the way, let's see if this other one happens to fit just because the dimensions are slightly different. Pop that in there. And that seems to fit just fine as well. In fact, there's there's even more room. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this Zippo up with fluid. All right, I'm going to fill it to the top. I'm going to put it in this Tic Tac container here. All right, we're going to seal it up here. And I'm going to check this. I'm going to start this on the first of the month, next month. And then I'm going to do one month intervals where I take it out and I see if it lights. All right, and we're going to see how long it's going to last with fluid in here. So the idea is it's in a small, tight spot, so as the fluid evaporates, it has nowhere to go. So technically, it should still stay in the Zippo. I'm just curious to see if, if the vapors build up and then maybe there's fluid on the outside of the lighter. I don't know. This is going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to see. We're going to see how this uh, actually works out. Um, in the future. So yeah, once a month, I'll, I'll check it out and see if that worked. I mean the Zippo um, As it leaks, I don't know if the Tic Tac container is Sealed enough like I don't know if this is actually airtight or if it's just tight enough to uh, to really hold it in for a long time So we're gonna find out in the future. I'm, I'm very curious now very curious So thanks to the person who happened to comment on that. I don't know why it's stuck in my head so long But yeah, we'll see if uh, if that's a thing and uh, I don't know, it, let me know if you've ever heard of this before or if this is something that people know about that I didn't know about. I'm kind of doubting that. It was maybe just one person's idea. But, uh, but yeah, it fits. That's the point of this video is it definitely fits as we saw there. And we're going to see if this will conserve fuel. So the idea um, is that if it does conserve fuel, you're not using your Zippo for a while. Let's say you want to take it out of your rotation or something. 
you could pop it in a regular old cheap Tic Tac container, enjoy the mint separately. And, uh, and then when you want to use the Zippo, you don't have to worry about filling it again. You could just take it back out. Ideally, it would still have the same amount of fluid in it or very similar. And then you can use it again. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where this goes. But once a month, I'll, I'll give it a go and uh, see if it's still filled. So again, thanks for the, the comment on the very strange uh, idea. Uh, it's definitely thinking outside the box, although now our Zippo is quite literally inside the box. So anyway, that's it for now. <laughs> thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Like I said, at the end of next month, we'll, we'll do our first test. I'll do it uh, live, or not really live, but you know, on camera, so you guys can experience the results with me. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. And I'll see you in about a month <laughs> for the next part of this video. So have a great day, guys. Take care.